Hey guys, welcome back to Humble Review. Today we have Beware Planet Earth. So this is a uh, tower defense game. It, it's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it seems like an iOS port. Uh, it's just the interface, like the resolution is kind of like squished down to like a square. I don't know, it just seems very iOS port. I, it's, a, it's a pretty decent port. Ooh, the fridge. Um, it, it's a very traditional uh, kind of tower defense game where you're just gonna wanna like plop down some uh, like point factory or you know what I mean. Like there, there's the currency is like cogs, and basically uh, what you do with the the cogs is you know build your shit. Uh, you, you get these little factories to uh, build the cogs make more cogs and then you I, I, I don't think I have to explain a tower defense game it's very uh, very classic tower defense format you know it's got an interesting look to the game the art's pretty nice uh, it's nothing crazy new add to the formula from what I can see so far I mean, it, it is pretty interesting when uh, when the aliens get to your your cows, they pick one cow up and then bring it back to the beginning of the level. That's how they uh, that's how they win. If they get all the cows, I assume. So far, I mean, there is like a, a hard mode. So far in the in the normal mode, there isn't much challenge. Oh God, I've never seen that enemy. But uh, in much challenge so far, I'm assuming uh. The game will get harder over time. And hopefully that guy is killed. Okay, that's good. So, now that now that we've got this kind of squared away, we'll, we'll get an early uh, opinion on it. I think this game is pretty fun if you like uh, tower defense games. And, you know, I, this seems like a, a pretty kid-friendly kind of game. Uh, so this is definitely, if you're into that kind of thing, definitely a game for you. It's fun. So, uh... The reason there is no Star Trek review coming out the, for the video game. God damn it. So, the game was giving me trouble for right away. I, you know, I, when I tried to record, it was being really laggy. And, spoilers, the game isn't great. Uh, this has nothing to do with the game, though. The game was being pretty laggy when I was trying to record it, so I put it down to 1280 by 720. I was like, alright, this should be fine. I changed it, no BS and everything big mistake. What I didn't realize that I had never had to change it like that. Like, I did it for, I think, platform mines, but, uh, it was fine there. I should probably build stuff. Like, I haven't been paying attention. Uh, he got one of my cows. That's unacceptable. Uh, I just scale it down to 1280 by 720. Well, it, it was already locked at 1280 by 720, but that was fine because I could just you know, change my recording window, which worked in that game. This game, Star Trek, did not work. What happened is, this weird thing happens because I have two monitors. I, I, I look at the, the recording on my other monitor to make sure everything's going well. It is for this one, because I can see it. When I change the resolution, when I scale the resolution down, the other monitor, I can't see most of it. So... I could only see like the corner of the frame and it looked fine from that corner but it was basically like s zoomed in on the top left corner of the frame and I it looked fine because I couldn't see the whole frame it was not fun so all you could see was the top left corner of the frame you couldn't see any of the UI god damn it I went in reviewing the recording. I played for like half an hour because I couldn't see the time. So I played for like half an hour. That really repetitive, not fun game. <laughs> I'm sorry if you worked on that game. But um, it wasn't great. <laughs> I'm sure you know that. Uh, wow, I'm getting, I think I might be getting my ass kicked. Uh, not paying attention. Game, game is pretty fun though. Uh, oh god, like all my cows are getting eviscerated right now. Oh my god, they're all on the field. That's terrifying. Uh, please kill them all. Okay, 
Walk back, cows. Okay, we're fine. So I recorded like a really shitty window, and that's to it's totally my fault for not uh, checking. But I, I was like, I'm not playing another half an hour of this game. So uh, I, I apologize. There is going to be no review coming out for that. I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, if, if I'm gonna give you the quick rundown right here of the game. Ooh. Okay. Apparently, you can see all the uh, like what you're dealing with here. So, um, quick rundown on the game. Oh, I can like do a pre-build phase. Oh no, I can't. Okay. Yeah, that's great, dude. Uh. So, I just couldn't bring myself to play it again. I know that's that's kind of shitty. <laughs> uh, I'll give you the uh, the gist of the game. So you you play as uh, Spock and Kirk, and uh, this the story starts out. You're like in a gunfight right away. It starts out in a gunfight, and you're like, oh okay. So you're shooting dudes, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it, the screen goes to black, and then you wake up like in a cave with Kirk. Like, I played the Spock, so, I, you know, it's like a co-op kind of second game. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. And then they start walking towards each other, and they look angry, and you're like, oh. And then they do, like, a freeze frame, like, gonna punch each other in the face thing. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And then it goes to them playing chess on the Enterprise, and it says eight hours later. And you're just like, ah, oh my god, <laughs> what is going on? And then you, you go to a space station, and you have to like do this shitty like solar flare thing where you have to hide from them behind cover, and you have to do that like over and over again, and it it, it overstays its welcome, and there's like puzzles kind of. You don't get to shoot anyone in the first level. Like even though the shooting sucked, I wanted to shoot somebody, and you don't get to. You only get to play like these crappy co-op puzzles with your stupid AI partner. He's like the worst AI ever. And he, he just follows you and doesn't help unless it's like a scripted AI like cooperation thing. And even then he takes like a little while to get there. And sometimes I think the game cheats. If he's not there, he just, they just teleport him to you. So you don't have to wait. But I, I, I think I'm catching all of the game's tricks. They, they kind of cheat for you because the AI is bad. <laughs> it's very strange. Oh god. I think uh, I think my setup is pretty bad here. I think I'll be fine though. So uh, and the animation in that game was pretty pretty terrible. Uh, it just everything looked kind of bad. Like, I mean, the graphics were fine, but the animations and the face animations were so weird. And the voice acting wasn't great either. There's, there's, it, it seemed like a, I mean, they got, they got like all the movies voice actors too, and it just didn't like, didn't seem like anyone really cared about the outcome of what that game was going to become. A ton of graphical bugs and weird things going on like at one point Kirk put his hand through my stomach like while we were opening a door just like straight in like Kali Ma style and I was like what is going on I, I just I just can't play that game again but anyway you probably don't want to see the gameplay I mean I, I might I don't know I'm probably not gonna release it because it's it's it, it's pretty bad the way it looks because a lot of the frame is cut off oh no I just clicked out of the game. We're fine. Everything's fine. No, don't do it. Back to the game. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, back to this game. I think this game's pretty fun. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty simple tower defense game. Again, it seems like iOS port type of thing. I'm not sure if it is, but I'm reasonably confident. Um. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty fun. I mean, everyone everyone likes a good tower defense game for a little while, you know. It doesn't really matter what it is. I mean, the the uh, art's, the art's pretty good. 
I like the, uh, the yard style. And we put uh, Mr. Fridge Man right there. The uh, the cows thing is it, it's pretty interesting how they don't just it's not just like a counter like you can only let 20 enemies in or something. It's literally like they have to pick the cows up and bring them back. right there. Yeah, so unfortunately that's uh, that's the reason that isn't going up. Probably ever, <laughs> because I am just not dealing with that game again. I am so sorry. But, uh, hey, we did it. Yay. I might uh, record like a little bit of something Ooh. else. I don't know. Maybe I'll record like, a, like Rocket League or something. I'll play a match of that or something. I, I've been playing that quite a bit lately. Having fun with that game. Yeah, I, I think I just might do that to uh, kind of replace that video because I don't want to just release one less video. I think that's kind of shitty. So, uh, ooh. Ray gun. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about this. I did see this in the, uh, in the little, little gameplay thing, thing of a Bob job. Uh, you also get like a little laser gun and you just like shoot ever in any hay bale. Okay. I thought you could shoot the enemy. I think you could shoot the enemies? Hold. Oh! Okay. So you could, I think you can shoot the enemies with this, but also you can destroy the hay bales so you have more room to build stuff. Uh, you can send the zapper back to the barn by right clicking. Great. One more thing I noticed that for some reason zapper tends to overheat when it let it cool down before it breaks. Okay. Yeah, so I think I might record, like, a couple games of Rocket League or something. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna... I, I'm just gonna have to think of something to do real quick. Because, uh... I do not want to just release one last video. I don't want to be that kind of guy. Alright. I mean, there's nothing... There's nothing wrong with being tight on time. And not being able to get all the videos out, but... I think I, I have a little bit of time today. I don't have much time each day because I do have work, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Can I get get, get rid of the grass? Can I? Just... Yeah. I apologize if you can hear that clicking. I did get a new mic as well, which I'm pretty happy about. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, I also got some. Uh, a switch dampeners for my keyboard because listening back to recordings I would always hear my keyboard be like ah you suck because <laughs> uh I remember I bought this keyboard well uh I think I got it as a gift I can't remember how I got this keyboard but uh at the time I was like oh this keyboard's awesome uh and now I realize oh my god it's so loud whoa kill him murder him I did not matter him. Okay, we got him. It's pretty nice and satisfying to just mash the shit out of the button. Alright, I'm gonna put a nice keg down. I need to get into the factory going. That sap is just... Yeah! Get him. Oops. Ah! Yeah, but I got a new mic. I got a... Like a pretty good pop filter as well, so everything should be fine and dandy from this point forward. Uh, look into getting a door, because I don't have a door for this room. And the air conditioning unit is like, well the vent is like right outside the door. So when the air conditioning's on, you can hear it so clearly in the recordings. So I'm looking to get a goddamn door, I don't have a door in my room. Oh, murder that guy! I forgot about my Danny Danny Zapper. Wow, that thing is so useful. So there is an active component in this game as well, which I forgot. Uh, which I forgot about, which is the uh, mashing the shit out of uh, let's click. Oh, that's right, it overheats. Let's uh, let that let that loaf cool down. Right there. Jabroni.
pepperoni an offensive word? I don't know. It, doesn't, it sounds too funny to be a uh, well, I, I don't want to get down that road. Of, uh, it sounds funny so it can't be offensive. If it is, I apologize. But, uh, I don't think... I think it's kind of like a joke offensive word that people from New Jersey use. Which I may or may not be. Italians from New Jersey mainly, I think. Am I being stereotyping? I don't know. If, if, if that offended you, sorry, but I don't, I don't think it offended anybody. So I think we're in the clear. So I guess I'll just put Mr. Fridge Man right there. I, I don't know, I'm just randomly placing things. I like that this game doesn't take much thought on like the normal mode. You can just be like, yeah, whatever, I'm just clicking these dudes. That must be like kind of an annoying noise. I've noticed, uh, this is like totally off topic, but um, what the person making the annoying noise is never annoyed by it. Even if they're not trying to be annoying uh, while doing it, it's just like generally when you're doing something that can be considered annoying, it's not annoying to you. Everyone likes their own brand, in other words. Ah, okay. Okay, no, we don't need another fridge. We need some kegs up in this beach. I like the music as well. I think it's it fits the game pretty well. Little little alien noise flourishes in there. Oh, that's the uh, sound effect that I'm putting down. But uh, definitely fits the I'm in a field and there's aliens kind of vibe, which is exactly what's happening. Wow, there's a lot of aliens coming down. Okay, let's all just chill out. Uh, let's get out of this shit working overtime. I think they're all going to be deceased in a matter of moments. <sighs> Bio the laser. Oh, I'm, I'm so mad that that Star Trek footage got lost. Because even though it was a subpar game, I made some bitchin' commentary. I did an Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger reference. Jesus. Um, forget what it was. Ah, it, was a, it was a quote. Oops. Uh, ooh, landmine. So, uh, it was a quote, like, so one of the characters said something, and I just repeated it in Arnold's voice. I, I honestly can't remember what it is. I'll have, to re I'll have to review the footage, all 28 minutes in glorious 1280 by 720 uh, to find out what that was. Or not. I think I'm going to go with the latter on that one. But, uh, let me go to the main menu real quick. So, uh, there's also challenges, which is, I assume, just the story missions, but harder. Bonus levels. Oh yeah, there's like a, there's levels with like the, uh, the Team Fortress 2 characters and stuff. I think there's Half-Life characters in it as well, which is cool. They did some like, Steam content kind of thing, achievements. Not sure if they're Steam compatible, but they're in the game right there. Options menu is really minimal, but I, I mean, I didn't have any problem with it when I loaded it up. I mean, other than the screen is square and with black bars on the side. I mean, that's fine. It does, it, again, it does seem like very iOS port-esque. I, I, I could be totally wrong on that, but, uh, it's just, it, it has that feel because very minimal options menu and, uh, it just, it just has that kind of menu, you know? So, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Overall, I think it's a pretty fun game. Uh, it's worth picking up in the Humble Bundle, giving a little cheeky play. <laughs> uh, I think you can get some you can get some decent fun out of it, especially if uh, if you want to have a challenge, you can go on veteran mode. I assume that's like pretty tough. But uh, otherwise, I will see you next time, and I thank you for watching. All right, bye.